Meet Dorju and his family. Dorju is a herdsman who lives in a remote region 1,500 kilometers from the Mongolian capital. His family is nomadic, moving throughout the year to find the best grazing land for their livestock. Dorju's wife Dulma works at home. Because of her medical condition, she can't work full time. While local doctors are proficient, clinics lack proper testing and diagnostic equipment. So Dulma has to travel to the capital to get the medical care she needs, which is expensive and inconvenient. Their daughter is 10 years old. She attends school, although the facilities are basic. She started school later than normal due to the family's nomadic lifestyle. The long, harsh Mongolian winter means food is often scarce and the son is often hungry. He's malnourished and often sick from poor drinking water. The family's nomadic lifestyle mean they're free from urban air pollution and traffic congestion. But they do worry about the soil and groundwater pollution that threatens their health. The couple are working to boost the family income, but they need capital and good infrastructure for the plan to be a success. The government of Mongolia, working with partners like the Asian Development Bank, ADB, has been helping families like these to deal with the many challenges they face. ADB's trade finance program works with the government to support local banks in extending capital to new enterprises. Dojo and Dolma have started their own business, processing fine cashmere wool thanks to this program. A government road, part of ADB's $170 million Western Regional Roads program, allows the family to safely get to the capital in a much shorter time to sell their products for a higher price. The family hope they'll soon be able to export their wool to new markets in neighbouring countries once customs operations improve. ADB, in conjunction with the government, is helping Dolma get the medical attention she needs locally by improving the quality of care in provincial hospitals. This saves her time and money. Educational improvements mean their daughter can now study at a better equipped school, so she can work at achieving her dream of becoming a doctor and her brother is enrolled in a mobile kindergarten designed to serve nomadic families. He's also on a course of micronutrients to tackle his malnutrition. And the whole family now have access to clean water and better sanitation. There's still much to do in Mongolia in the coming years. The government plans to build more infrastructure, promote renewable energy, improve access to services and support agribusiness. ADB, in conjunction with the government of Mongolia, is there to turn these national dreams into reality. <laughs>